يعني جو بايدن جاست بيجان تو سبيك ايل اوف ترامب ان ويز ذات ليتس سي ار ابيت كونسرنينج اي دونت نو اف هي واز بين سيريوس اي دونت نو اف هي هاد سم كايند اوف ديلوشنال مومنت يو نو ذات جو هازنت بين هازنت بين ريلي جود كوايت ليتلي وي اولسو هاف ا a clip of uh, obama that we will be uh, checking in the same tone But it's about Donald Trump, of course, because you know that the main topic is, is not abortion. It's not abortion. It's Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the main topic of uh, Kamala Harris campaign. And this is uh, Joe Biden. He is talking about doing away with the entire Department of Education. Yeah, the Department of Education is going to disappear pretty much. It's uh, something that is uh, actually necessary. It's, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a waste of resources and I'm sure that that's one of the first things that Elon is going to just uh, blow away in terms of spending. He's talking, he means it. Not, this is not a joke. And you know, that's, as, as usual, Biden has that look that is he really here? The last time I actually saw him, like he was conscious of what he was talking about existing was at that uh, uh, church service that Obama was, um, well, you know, scolding him and telling him that most probably that Kamala was doing really bad in the polls. But right now he was lost. This is a guy who also wants to replace every civil servant, every single one, thinks he has a right under the Supreme Court ruling on immunity. Uh, he says that he, he, uh, Trump wants to replace every civil servant. Replace with what? With robots? Uh, I don't know what kind of replacement you're talking about, old man. Thinks he has a right under the Supreme Court ruling on immunity to be able, if need be, if, he, if it was the case, to actually eliminate, physically eliminate, shoot, kill someone who is a, he believes to be a threat to him. So he, he, Joe Biden has just said that Donald Trump has some kind of plan to eliminate, physically eliminate uh, anybody who would be a threat to him. Now, we have said this many times since the first assassination attempt on Donald Trump, that this hate rhetoric that the Democrats keep saying that comes from Trump and the, the uh, MAGA camp, No, this is them. This is the Democrats. This is Joe Biden. This is Kamala Harris. This is everyone who is blue that is, is putting a target on Donald Trump's back. And they are, they are not ashamed of doing it. They, they are really desperate. We already know that the levels of desperation, if they had to take Obama out, bring Obama out in the open, bring Bill Clinton, who's even, even Bill Clinton messed up and said the truth about uh, vetting illegal immigrants. And now this is that they are, they, I'm afraid of the level of desperation because the level of desperation means that they are willing to do anything it takes for Kamala Harris to win the presidency. Anything it takes. And I mean anything. I know what I'm talking about. There's so much at stake. And remember that picture that I showed you of the two reasons that uh, Bill Gates might have to donate uh, $50 million dollars to Kamala Harris campaign. You know that there's so much at stake. Big Pharma, Big Food, uh, the Epstein List, the Diddy Tapes, um, There's so much, if, 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 war, if, if the Ukraine and Russia war ends, you know how many people are going to lose money in the United States. You know, the warmongers are going to end up with all those uh, weapons not used, uh, not sold. It, it's, there's so much against Donald Trump or becoming president of the United States a second time that, well, I... I would like I would like to tell you that it's possible, but I also know that the left is capable of anything to remain in power and make sure that well all those secrets are not revealed. I mean, so I know this sounds bizarre. Well, everything that you say sounds bizarre. Sounds like if I said this five years ago, you'd lock me up. We gotta lock him up. 
We gotta lock him up. <laughs> Politically, yeah, but we got to lock him up. And what did Obama said? Let's see Obama's words because um, Obama is not looking good, by the way. Uh, of course, well, the the eight years in office, you know, that that's no easy fit. That is never an easy fit. I think that Donald Trump is the only one who who looked even better when he finished his first term uh, than when he started. But Obama, no, that's it. he's lacking some kind of a nutrient, you know, that maybe there's, it looks like there's one nutrient that he hasn't been getting lately. I don't know, if maybe it's vitamin B, vitamin D, I don't know. Uh, who knows? Let's see what, what Obama has to say. I, I, I don't understand how we got so toxic and just so divided and so bitter and I, I i get why sometimes people just don't want to pay attention to it yeah th this is um this is the kind of things that one can find a bit hard to digest how the person who actually the one who actually began all this division how he claims that he doesn't understand how why all this is happening yeah it's it's baffling to me as well. How can he say that with a straight face? It, you can you you you, you can see uh, see him a second time. I, I I don't understand how we got so toxic and just so divided. And so, so divided, yeah. So divided in terms of race. So I have an idea. It was like from 2008 and onwards. You remember my show from two days ago? We were talking. We were talking about uh, two charts that say that all this rhetoric of racism, of misogynism, of uh, sexism, of uh, uh, Islamophobia and homophobia, all this exploded in 2008. I don't know. I don't know what is the relationship with that, but, but whatever. So better, and I, I, I get why sometimes people just don't want to pay attention to it. And we all have friends like that. We have family members who are just like, ah, you know, it's all... It's all a circus out there. I get that. Yeah. And we, we know all the names of the clowns. And I, I can understand. You know, this, this, is a, this is a matter that so many people are already, have already voted for Kamala Harris. I can understand that. But there are people that are still on the fence. They, are, they don't know what to do. But my intention, it's at least it's my intention to try to, well, bring this in a format that you can share maybe with those family members who haven't voted yet. Maybe you think you can change their mind in some way or another. But brainwashing is a real thing. Brainwashing is a real thing. It's something that you can do on a personal level, on an individual level, or you can do it on a mass level. And the more years that you spend on that brainwashing, the harder it is to break the spell. So that's one of the things that um worries me about the, uh, the the current state of uh of affairs like if donald trump uh, wins and this is not a joke this, this is gonna be a, a this 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 huge uh let's say uh, we could say like this wave of uh, mental reaction i don't want to use the wrong words here because I don't want to, of course, it's going to be a net positive. But so many people that have terminal Trump derangement syndrome are going to be in a bad place. But I don't know. I would say, I would say that it was, uh, they are responsible for that. But you have to understand as well, one has to be kind sometimes. And people like this who had all the access to all the media and all the power to sow that division themselves, uh, we have to be patient with people with uh, Trump derangement syndrome. Some some of them might uh, be already long gone, but some of them, I know that some of them we can still bring back at least into having some kind of critical thinking. That's all that I ask. Maybe they're not going to vote for Donald Trump. Maybe they will still hate Donald Trump. It doesn't matter, but at least have some kind of criteria, common sense. That's that's what I want to foster here. You know that I, that's 
how my channel started, the Battle Language Guy. I wanted to, I wanted to teach people this, uh, this, uh, these tools. And the topics, well, the topics can vary. It can be gossip, it can be politics, it can be anything, it can be a true crime, but the principles are the same. How can we have critical thinking to think for ourselves? And that's what I want for you. But I would like to know what you think about this in the comments as well.